you wanted to edit a green screen photo on a Chromebook and you weren't sure what to use because you're used to using other applications on iOS or tablets, well, you've come to the right place. I'm going to show you an easy way to remove a green background or any color background for that matter on a photo to make it ping or to make it editable for green screening projects. So here we go. We're going to go into our address bar and type in lunapick.com. Going to go to that website. So it takes us here. Uh, we've got lots of options. It's actually an online editor uh, that you can use, so it's easily used on a Chromebook or any other computer where you have uh, internet access. So I'm going to go to the bottom here and click on the word transparent. Now it's going to ask me if I want to open a URL or choose a file. I'm going to choose a file that I already know I have that has a green background. Uh, I know that my file is around here somewhere. There it is. Uh, so we've got a robot with a green background and we want to get rid of the green. So I'm going to just do a command um, minus so that I can see the whole thing. So as you can see up here, we've got some options. Uh, it says make an image transparent. Click on a color to make it transparent. So I'm going to click on uh, one of the shades of green that's in the background. There are a couple because there are some shadows. I'm going to pick one and click on it. Automatically does this all online for us. So as you can see, uh, anywhere where there's a checkered background is transparent now, but it didn't do the greatest job the first time around. So you can actually play with the threshold. So right now we're at 5. If I move it up to 12, we'll see how much gets removed then. It just automatically does it for us. Okay, that's looking better. I'm going to try to go a little bit more. Try 16. Okay, maybe... 18. Okay, so that's looking better and better. We'll try to slide up to 20, see what happens. Okay, um, maybe 21, 22. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So I'm going to apply this threshold right now. Uh, there we go, by clicking that button. So now our robot has virtually no um, green left except for under here. So we can try it. it says make another color transparent. So if you had a two color background or three you could do that. You could just keep doing this. I'm going to click on it again and see if we can get rid of that uh, little shadow underneath uh, the robot. So at five it got rid of what was on the side here. Uh, okay, maybe go a little more, maybe to eight. And because there are some reflections of green on the robot, it may start taking out part of our robot. So we don't want that. So I'm going to go back down to six and click apply threshold. There we go. So that looks pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do now is click at the bottom here. There's a save button. Make it bigger again. Uh, so I'm going to click on save and it will download it right here onto my hard drive and I'll be able to use it in other uh, areas. So what I like to do is go into a Google Drawings open template. There's one I've already done with Lunapic as well. As you can see, it's not perfect. But it's good enough, so I'm going to take the image that I just downloaded and pop it in <clears throat> to there. I can double click and then crop out any extra that I need. So there you have it, an online way to easily edit green screen photos. Another quick trick that I wanted to show you is if you want to do a second image, uh, and remove a background from a second image, you're going to have to go to File when you're finished, File and close the image. After, make sure you've saved it because then it will be gone. So go to File under the pick menu and click Close Image. 
Um, otherwise, it's going to keep coming back to the same one and wanting you to edit that one. So we're going to close image and remove undo history. So it's been deleted and now you can upload a new image by clicking on the link here. So there you have it. Next, head back into Google Drawings and what I will do is show you a quick way how to actually insert an image in the background. So we're going to go to insert image and I've already searched for the word space so let's see here there's anything good okay so there's something with a spaceship let's select that so that'll be our background for this image that we're creating I'll drag it so it fits the entire canvas and then what I do is I will drag my green screen photos onto it and now what happens is they are default going to go behind the background so what you need to do is click anywhere on your background image with a right click or a two finger click on a Chromebook uh, and you put send to back so it's going to go the order of it will be right at the back of the canvas so then your image can pop up so what I'll do is I will rotate myself by clicking on the ball here and maybe make myself a bit smaller maybe it looks like I'm flying by a spaceship and um, maybe commanding the spaceship is going to be my my robot friend. So that's an easy, simple way to use uh, green screen editing right from your Chromebook and then using Google Drawings to easily make photos that you can share and have your students go anywhere in the world. And while you're at it, if you are interested in this and you'd like to participate in our global green screen challenge called Pick Forward, we would love to have you participate. So check out our website, the link is above. And if you want to download this photo, it's file, download as, and you can click the word JPEG and it will download for you right onto your hard drive. If you do have access to Apple products or a Mac, uh, you can do this in pages as well instead of doing the online version on Lunapic and you can check out my video tutorial about that by clicking on the link at the top. Thank you so much for watching. Have fun creating.